people on the other side. Welcome to this magical, magical time. As you can probably tell, I'm going to do a very dark manicure. I got one from Get Buff Nails, and she had these very dark nails. Insert image here. So I have my idea of these nails. There's flowers, and you can probably tell that they're hand painting flowers because they're like a little 3D. Mine are going to be stamped, of course, so I'll get that and stuff. But as I don't have black sparkle, you know, like that, that thick sparkle stuff, I'm going to be using this. I'll be doing the dark purple on the top here. I got this at some jewel at some like, jewelry store that has like some nail stuff. And this is just like, so it's like pur purpley blue. That's on the top. I can see it has like two colors in it. That's what I'm going to use. And then I'm going to, I have all these different blacks up. I got this, I got this. I probably won't use this. I'll probably just use these three. This for that, the one nail that's going to be black black. And then this, I might use for other ones because it won't matter if I cover it up. Because I'm covering it up with that and stuff. So you'll see the black, that, the black through it a little bit. So, and then you, you might know, if you know me, I usually use this brand a lot for stamping. So I'll be using this for stamping. So maybe I'll use this over this. Because that's good contrast. So on that note, let's get to these awesome nails. They're not really very witchy or anything, but they do have that kind of dark, this is like a dark, elegant look for those elegant time, times. But there's never a bad time for dark, awesome nails. And I might, even though I don't really have the best way of keeping these on for very, very long, I'm probably going to add one bow, black bow, one of these black bows that I got on one of the nails and just one, that's it. I could probably one of these two middle nails because I don't want to hear or hear, especially on this one. So I'm just going to add one and then that will be the little, even though I'm already going, but oh, this is going to be a lot of fun. So let's get to it. Here is my typical base coat that I've been using recently when I'm not doing French. I know you might be thinking like, what? You should be using a base coat that's clear. But no, clear polishes at times can actually work if they're really, really light colors. They don't tint your nails much. So, in my experience. And here's the black I'm going to use. And as you probably can see, it's a little hard to get on the way I kind of fist it into places so I can cover up that, yeah, that pink color. Is I kind of like gel you need to you know like gel you go to and then kind of move it around not like like you do polish so <laughs> this is not really the, the the best way to do it maybe find a better black than i have but and i'm gonna use this one because this is a black but it's a nice contrast for the stamps i'm gonna do in a minute because the other one the black stamp would just blend in and i want to do a black stamp and have it like contrast black black so i'm doing a silver black <laughs> and now here's the other one that i'm going to use because i thought it was nice to give it a little sparkle underneath when I put on, on all that sparkle other color. So you'll see black underneath. So here is that. I'm gonna kind of tap it on. This is a good technique. I don't know, like you wanna put it on when it's wet, use a clear polish or the polish you just put on to flatten it all nicely out with my nice purple sparkle here. It's thick sparkle. I love this kind of stuff. The bottle that comes with is a little like hard to tip, to dip it in. So I have to kind of do it that way, which is fine because I don't have to get it fully, fully. I kind of want the black to show through. So now I'm putting the stamping, as you can see, make some black roses, very fitting for Halloween <laughs> instead of the red ones that are more loving and stuff. And I, oh, just look at that. It's subtle, but a really good contrast. And now I'm putting on one more coat here. And this one I'm going to leave pretty simple. I realized that I the color was not working out too well on that black. So I'm putting on the gold black that I have to finish out all the little imperfections. And of course, like I said, I was going to add a bow. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm doing it to the most simplest nail of them all, most of them. So I did like the black black one, even though I added the silver, the gold black. So there we go. And I'm using my awesome tool that really helps to put it in place. And after all that, I am now finito. And yes, I did say I was only gonna put one, and I wasn't gonna put my pinky, but I couldn't resist. It just looked, it just looked, it needed a slightly simping. So then, of course, like always, you always wanna put a top coat on that. Well, there we go. There are those dark, magical, mostly girly, very classy nails that I did for you. And off camera, I did my other hand. And I did it a little differently. 
I did it kind of the same, but I wanted to do like a brighter version. It's just I don't really have a white white that can do the fountain to fit like this. So I did a black, as you can tell. So these are my two versions of that. The more close to it, the more bright version. But on that awesome note of notes, I hope you enjoyed this video of Nails with Nails. I quite like my version of these nails. It's pretty cool if you get my drift and all that. So on all that note, I've got some awesome things going on and have some more videos coming your way. So as always, hit that subscribe button or if you're new, hit that bell icon because that is to so get notified for any new videos when they come out. But on that note, if you have any ideas, just tell me. Go ahead, sparkle sparkle.